What's up friends, welcome back to my channel. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you this cool mask transition. So let's dive in DaVinci Resolve. So first you need two clips that you want to mask. So I have my Metro clip, so the first one. So you see this clip is really easy to mask because right up here of the end of the Metro, we want our second clip to come in. Okay, so this clip needs to come in. So first we want to layer these clips on top of each other. So always the clip that you want to mask goes on top. Then the clip that needs to come in needs to go down. All right, so let's zoom in a bit. So let's decide where this clip needs to come in. So, all right, so let's put it somewhere here. So we want to mask this clip only this clip. So we're gonna select it and we go to the color tab space. So the first thing that you do is you're gonna click on your right and then you're gonna create add alpha output. Then you're gonna grab this blue line and you add it to the alpha output. If you don't do this, you are not able to uh, do this mask transition. So don't forget to do this. The second thing to do is we want to go to a nice point in the frame, so for example, right here, we see the end of the metro, and this is a good starting point for masking. You go to this tool, this is uh, the window tool, and here you can select different kinds of mask tools. We want to have a fully control about our mask, so we click on this pencil tool. So with this pencil tool, you can create lines. All right, so let me show you. So we zoom in. So right here and right here needs to be a line. And then I zoom all the way out and I make a big line right up here, here. Then I zoom in again and reconnect it with this dot. Let's go back to the normal setting. All right, now you see the other clip and we don't want that. You click on this icon and boom. Now you already see that the second clip, so this clip right here, will come in. So first we need to mask it out. So how can we do this? You go right up here to keyframes and then you click on this icon and then you created your first keyframe. All right, so then you go back to this mask and then with your arrow keys on the keyboard, you go to the right. So what I want to do is I want to grab that mask and close it to the metro. So I will show you something like this. And then it automatically sets a keyframe over here. So we go with our arrow key also one more time to the right. And looks what happens up here. If I move my mask to the left, boom, it will set a keyframe. Let's do this for the whole clip. All right, so let me check what we made so far. Let's go back to the edit page and let's play it back. Pretty cool. Now you see this line is pretty rough, okay? So how can we make it more soft? Go back to the color tab space. So right up here you see softness and you can increase the softness a bit. Ah, something like this, looks pretty good. Then you can decide to make the inside softness wider, so the inside or the outside. But I will leave it as it is because I really like this transition. All right, so now we increase the softness of this keyframe and now we need to do this for every single keyframe of here. So let's do that really quick. We copy this number, Control C on my keyboard, then I go to the left and I will do this for each keyframe. Okay, so let's do that really quick. All right, we are done with the softness. So let's check it out. Go back to the edit page and let me show you frame by frame. Boom. That looks pretty damn cool, man. <laughs> let's see the whole transition. Now one cool trick that I want to show you, we can speed ramp this clip a bit. The first clip is already pretty fast, but this clip goes to slow. So let's speed ramp it. How can we do this? It's very simple. 
disable this video track so that we have fully control and a fully good visible view on this video right here. And then we just simply gonna hit control R. So we want to speed it up until here. Then we click this arrow key and add a speed point. So now you tell DaVinci until here, I want to speed up my footage. So then we go up here to this arrow key. And then we want to change the speed until let's say 200. And you see when you speed up this part, it will make the video smaller, but no worries. Just grab this icon up here and drag it all the way to the right. And let's check it. So what I don't like is the transition from fast to slow. It's a bit of a harsh transition. Let's show it one more time. You see that I need to have a smooth transition. So how can you do this? Select this clip, click on your right, and then you want to select retime curve. So this is basically the speed ramp that we just created, but you see this really harsh transition up here. So we want to have a really smooth transition. How can we do that? Select this point up here and then just simply click on this icon. And now you see you have a really smooth curve transition. Now let's close it and let's watch it one more time. That's better. So let's watch the whole video. Pretty cool. All right, guys, that was it. If you learned something today in this video, I would really appreciate a like or subscribe, or maybe just leave something in the comment that you want to see in my next video. Bye-bye.